G'day trainers and welcome back to another Pokemon Legends Arceus video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to capture the forces of nature and how to change them into their Therian forms. Now the forces of nature refer to a group of four Pokemon that are made up by Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus and Enamorous. For the first three of those Pokemon, to get them to spawn in the wild, what you're going to need to do is accept request 94 Incarnate Forces of Haisue. To be able to get Request 94, you first must have completed the main mission, Seeking the Remaining Plates, which is mission number 26. Once you have completed that, return to Jubilat Village and enter the Galaxy Team Headquarters. Now once you do, Mistress Kogita will approach you and after a small amount of dialogue, she'll give you Request 94. You can see on the screen that request, and it states, Legend has it that Hasue is home to a group of Pokemon said to be forces of nature incarnate. Investigate them to bring your Pokedex closer to completion. I'm going to show you where they're located, as well as the conditions that need to be present for those Pokemon to spawn. I'm going to start with Tornadus. Tornadus is located in the Alabaster Ice Lake, however he will only spawn during a snowstorm. Now if there's not a snowstorm currently going on when you reach the Alabaster Ice Lands, you have a couple of options. First of all, you can just sit there and wait for one to begin. Secondly, you could return to Jubilat Village and then come back to the Alabaster Icelands, or you could simply go to the camping spot and rest up for a small amount of time, and hopefully a snowstorm is there when you get back. If not, rinse and repeat until one's there. Now once those conditions have been met, head towards the bone chill wastes. Right here is where tornadoes should spawn. Now I do wanna exercise caution, as you can see, there are a lot of Glalie around and there's also an Alpha Glalie right there. Now, these are very aggressive Pokemon and they will attempt to interfere. So, if you want, feel free to try to take them out and remove them from the equation. Now, once you are ready to take on Tornadoes, be aware, he is going to be very difficult to approach. He will continue to try to get away from you and you will not be able to just snipe him with a Pokeball. He has got a wind barrier preventing you from doing so. What you're going to need to do is stun him and then either throw a Pokeball to try to catch or enter into a battle with him, lower his health and try to catch him then. So I'm going to use a Jet Ball to try to stun Tornadus and then enter the battle. Now trainers, be careful while trying to approach Tornadus. Even though you're not actively engaging him in battle, while he's running away, he can still start to launch attacks at you which will hurt your player character. Okay, so once stunned, you will enter the battle and you will see they are coming in at level 70, so they are going to be very formidable enemies. Make sure you've got a strong enough team and you should be able to walk out of this with a brand new legendary Pokemon. And just like that, we've caught Tornadoes. All right, so one down, three to go trainers. Next up, we've got Thunderous. Thunderous is located in Tranquility Cove in the Cobalt Coastlands. However, he is only able to be encountered during a thunderstorm. So, again, if you do not have one when you spawn in, then rest up at camp or just wait for one to occur. Once the conditions have been met, head over here on the map and you should see Thunderous flying around. Just like Tornadus, you will need to stun Thunderous before you can send a Pokemon into battle and to attempt the capture. Now, this is going to be the second most difficult capture that we're going to try to attempt because we need to do this in the back of Basque Legion. And I don't know about you, but I'm pretty terrible at aiming Pokeballs off the back of Basque Legion. Alright, so just like with Tornadus, once we've broken down that wind barrier, we can start this battle with Thunderous and attempt that capture. And just like that, we've got our second genie. And finally, for the first part of this request, we've got Landorus. Head over to the Obsidian Fieldlands, and Landorus will appear during any type of weather, and will be found here on the map down by Ramanas Island. Now, I've already caught Landorus, however, the same process still needs to be followed. We stun it with an item and then try to catch it right away or battle and try to catch it while it has lower health. Now that we've caught all three of the genie Pokemon, we now need to raise each of their research ranks to level 10. The absolute quickest way for this is to battle very weak Pokemon and have each of the genie Pokemon use their signature move in the agile style three times. Completing this along with the capture of each of those Pokemon will give you a research rank level 10. 
life. So the signature move that you'll need to use in the Agile style three times for each of these Pokemon are, for Landorus, it'll be the Sand Seer Storm, for Tenatus, it'll be the Bleak Wind Storm, and for Thunderous, it'll be the Wild Bolt Storm. Once you've gotten the research rank to level 10 for each of the legendary genie Pokemon, head to the Ancient Retreat and speak to Mistress Kogita. After you've reported your findings, she will introduce you to a Pokemon called Enamorous, the Herald of Spring, and this will be the final member of the forces of nature that we will need to catch. Enamorous is located in the Scarlet Bog in the Crimson Myelands during all weather conditions. Just like the previous encounters, we must try to sneak up on it and break the wind barrier using an item before we can engage it in battle. Full warning though trainers, Enamorous is the hardest of the four of these Pokemon to catch, as it is very easily alerted to you and all of the bogs around you will really slow your character down. Enamorous also has the ability to confuse your character, which can make everything much more difficult. And just like all the others, once you've engaged it in battle, you can attempt to capture it. And there we go, we have Enamorous. Now just like for the previous three, the quickest way to get Enamorous to research rank 10 is to use its signature move in the Agile style three times. In this instance, Enamorous' signature move is Springtide Storm. So once you have caught all four of the Force of Nature Pokemon and raised all of their research ranks to level 10, then you need to return to the Ancient Retreat, report your findings back to Mistress Kogita, and she will provide you the Reveal Glass. Now this can be used to change the Forces of Nature into their Therian forms, as such. So it's going to be located in your key items. When you hover over it, you'll see that Landorus, Tornadus, Thunderous, and Enamorous are all compatible with it. Let's see what happens to each of them. Now that we've transformed all four of them, let's see what they look like now. So we've got Landorus, we've got Tornadus, We've got Thunderous, and we've got Enamorous. Alright trainers, and that's how you can get all four of these legendary Pokemon. Now, if you do happen to KO any of them throughout any of the battles, don't stress. As long as you've still got the request active, you can return to Jubilife Village and then come back to that Pokemon's area. It will effectively reset all of the spawns and everything back to where it should be. So. There is no reason for you not to add these four beauties to your Pokedex. Get out there and good luck. Have a nice night.